Hello everyone, this is Dr. G. We are in the Labor Economics Labor Supply Chapter 2, Part 10. In this part, we are going to practice the impact of a decrease, not increase. We covered the increase in wages in the previous parts. Decrease in wages on labor supply. So here is the blueprint, right? A decrease in wages. I'm going to ask you to show it graphically. Graphically, it's going to look like this leisure consumption, right? Initial budget line, right? Label it V, E, everything. Label it. V is non-labor income. Put everything. Slope is negative W, slope. So now show the wages going down. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wages going down. I All I wanted was to draw a flatter budget line. Let me try it again. So, okay. It's supposed to be a straight line, folks. Let me draw it here. So initial budget line looks like this. Second budget line is going to look flatter. Okay. That's all we're trying to do. So initially show the optimal point, label everything as humanly as possible, right? We're going to label everything, slope, indifference curve, budget, line, everything, label here, all right? So initial point, call it P, initial equilibrium. All right, so graphically show the initial condition and mark the initial optimal bundle P. We're going to mark it P here. Now, depict the case where income effect dominates substitution effect. Mark the new bundle R. What happened to the consumption, leisure, and hours of work between P to R? So, you're going to mark a new R point. I don't know. Is it going to be to the this side or to the this side? So, first of all, you need to do the analysis. Wage rates go down. We did this in the previous slides. I'm going back a couple of slides. We worked on this here, increase in wages, right? And next, we talked about decrease in wages. So make sure you work on income effect, substitution effect. And then I'm going back to our slide, practice. And so your answer, what happened to consumption leisure hours between P to R? Show the income and substitution effects in isolation by showing the intermediate point. So the first case, I'm asking you to assume income effect dominates the substitution effect. I'm just going to do quick analysis. I'm not showing it graphically, just showing you. Wage went down. Income effect says that you are poorer. Consume less of leisure and consume less of consumption goods. Ours are going to have to go up. Substitution effect says that wages are lower. Leisure is cheaper now. Increase. Leisure substitute away from things that got relatively more expensive. Consumption is relatively more expensive because leisure is relatively cheaper. So I did the arrow wrong way. Consumption needs to go down. Leisure goes up. Ours goes down. So if income effect dominates, you're going to see leisure going down. Consumption always goes down. All right. If substitution effect dominates, graphically show the initial condition and mark the initial bundle. Depict the case where substitution effect dominates income effect. Mark the new optimal bundle R. What happened to consumption leisure hours between P and R? And show income and substitution effects in isolation. That's it. I'll see you in part 11.